Welcome back to the channel and we are here in the MITAC, the Midlands Energy Training and Accreditation Centre in Mount Rat in here in Ireland and it's Ireland's largest energy accreditation centre and we're here with the My Energy and today we're going to be looking at the Libby specifically but we will have other My Energy products and you can hear see them hanging around with the back there will be other videos on the channel but today's video is very much about the Libby so what does Libby stand for it's lithium ion battery better intelligence I believe and we're going to be looking at the different sections of it what you where would you use it what would you use it for and on the channel obviously i review a lot of electric vehicles and as part of that ecosystem people are looking at pv photovoltaic or solar panels they're also thinking about what chargers to put on the wall and what, how do these things connect with each other so with the photovoltaic or the solar panels that can power your house power your car but you may want to do both or you may want to decide where that green energy goes to and with the libby system and that my energy ecosystem you have that opportunity to do it so libby itself on the top is a hybrid inverter and what that means is it can take energy from the grid and you might have a lower rate night rate tariff and that can actually be put into the battery and then you can actually feed that battery then back to power your house when the electricity is higher so it can take grid energy and store it and it can also take solar uh, solar energy or green energy from your own property and store it in the battery as well So it can take energy from where you want it to take it from so that's that hybrid inverter on the top And with that hybrid inverter it can come in two different sizes and this one is a 3.68 kilowatt unit But you can also have a 5 kilowatt inver hybrid inverter on the top Depending on your situation and your local my energy installer will advise you on what they recommend we chatted about the ability to take in cheaper tariffs and so you can see on the screen here we can set up and as example of British Gas and it's a dual rate and then when, it, when you click set up your tariff you can actually put in, um, it talks you through the flow, you can put in the cost of the different tariffs, uh, 24 and, 20, and 16p is an example on the screen here and then the time that those tariffs uh, are applicable to so it's it's giving the uh, giving the information to the Libby as to when to take in the the uh, the energy or cheaper tariff you also have the ability if you are on a dynamic uh, tariff you can tell it the provider the tariff that you're on your postcode and then it knows that it's a dynamic energy tariff and it will give you the cheapest one so very smart way of work so it's all about the three m's the ability to manage maximize and monitor your energy all in one place so the app seamlessly connects you to all the my energy devices giving you full control and access from anywhere in the world it's a free app that allows you to set timers use boost functions prioritize your my energy products vibrant visuals we also can monitor grid import and export solar pv generation and battery storage information all in one place then you've got the central unit here and that's just your fuses etc but it's all in the one nice tidy stack at the bottom then you've got your battery and this comes in 5.1 kilowatt hour modules so it is this is one battery you can stock it up then and have one on top of the other in a pillar two you can have a maximum of four batteries per hybrid inverter so what that will happen then is for the second set of two it would be on the wall here beside it lovely tidy unit as well as this uh, column you also have the libby controller unit uh, and that will allow you to understand where the energy is coming from where it's going through but as well as that whole ecosystem with my energy you have the ability then to use the app and with that app and i think it's one of the best things about the my energy system is everything can, everything can start talking to each other what i hear from ev drivers out there and those with solar panels and with home battery stuff is that they have solar panels from one manufacturer they have an inverter from another manufacturer they have a battery pack from another manufacturer they might have hot water conversion and we're going to be having a future video on the harvey coming to the channel soon sorry the eddy you can see it on the wall here beside me and that will allow you to take solar energy and use it to hot, heat up your hot water cylinder and you can use it with the libby as well you can use the libby energy to heat up your hot water system but when the libby can talk to the eddy the harvey is up here then you've got the zappy over here then as well if you want to charge your electric vehicle so you can see how everything can be talking to each other but also you have the ability to control it that's what i really like about it and that controlling and prioritization so here we have the my energy app and you can see by even just prior setting the priorities you can swing the ev around you can make it that, that the libby is the third priority and the hot water the eddy is the second priority or vice versa and it's as simple as swiping it up on the screen and telling the system where you'd like 
the solar energy or the grid energy or the lib energy libby energy where did that where does that go what would you what do you want prioritized if it's a cold day you might say do you know what we need the hot water if it's a really so, sunny day you might want the ev and so you can see how simple it is on the my energy app to actually utilize and set the priorities and it's all then updated. You can go into the app and you can see what the state of charge on the Libby is uh, and you can see where that energy came from. And then you also have the likes of the Eddy, turn it on, turn it off, uh, so really useful. So it's great to be down here to see it first one. I've seen it in, the, in other videos and I've seen it on the websites, but to actually see it, the unit itself installed, the size of it, I'm six foot two, 188 centimeters, but what I'll do is I'll put it up on the channel. I'll put it up on the screen actually the dimensions of it and the ways that you can format it out. But it's great to be able to get the information out there because I, what I hear is the amount of people that have an electric vehicle that don't have solar, the amount of people that have solar panels and don't have an electric vehicle and don't understand that all of these ecosystems can really work together to help you manage your home energy needs and demand on the grid. I've been smart about it as well and using the likes of the Libby to store cheaper or greener electricity depending on your tariff, depending on where you're situated. You might have micro wind generation at your property as well. To be able to store that energy and then use it to run so your property. So with that 5 kilowatt, 5.1 kilowatt battery, kilowatt hour battery, what you're saying is that, that probably will get the typical household through an evening of cooking dinners, heating hot water, all of that kind of stuff. So the, if the grid went, or if the grid goes on a regular basis, you have the ability to run your property as well with the Libby system. And depending on the number of batteries that you have, again, talk to your installer and he or she will let you know, do you know what, we looked at your load over a couple of uh, weeks or months or whatever it may be. Seasonality needs to be taken into account as well with darker, colder times of the year. And we reckon that this is the type of system that would power your um, property. You need to remember as well that no point over specking it or under specking it, it needs to be just right. Over specking it, all you're going to be doing is unless you've got a really good price to export that back to the grid, it's not going to be worth it to anybody. So hopefully you've enjoyed my look around the My Energy Libby system. Really enjoyed being here. Also having a look at it in practice in a couple of different properties around Ireland. But exciting times ahead for the My Energy ecosystem. If you've got the Zappy unit already in your charge in your electric car office and you've got the Eddy, it's a natural progression to look at that Libby. There are other power bank and power wall systems out there and battery storage systems out there, but what I like about this is it all seamlessly talks to each other. Hopefully you've enjoyed that first look around. Make sure you've subscribed to the channel, leave a like, leave a comment in the system if you've already got the Libby system or you're thinking about going for the Libby system and what you're thinking and considering because other people want to learn from all of my other viewers. Hopefully you've enjoyed it and remember if you think an EV is for you, leave it to me and I'll review as well as all the other stuff that's associated with electric vehicles. Thank you very much for watching.